Hey folks, this is Steve with Nonprofit Ally. Welcome to lesson five of the how to build your nonprofit website in a day. So right now we have our theme installed and we've put some content in there. And we need to add some more content, but the way to add the upcoming content is with widgets. So that's what we're gonna go into. We're gonna teach you how to use widgets um, through the theme. The theme uses the widgets. There's also another way to use widgets which we will go into uh, in a later lesson but uh, let's go ahead and get started hey folks we are back building our nonprofit website so at this point we have installed wordpress and we have installed a theme we've also gone ahead and customized much of that theme now we're going to use widgets to add the content to our site with so go ahead and uh, log in to your wordpress backend once you're in that site, we are going to the same place we were in the previous lesson, which is over here under Appearance. We're going to go to Themes, and we're actually just going to go right to the Customization area. So go Appearance, Customize, and you'll be in that back end. So again, here's the preview of our site, and uh, we'll just do a quick scan here to see where we left off. So we have what we do is what we put in there. We're going to add content in this section here. We added um, this call to action place. There's our mission area. That is done. Our board, we have to replace with our board information in this part. So we're going to be adding content there. And then what people are saying or testimonials, we are going to be adding some information here. And then we scroll on down. And then news and events, that is a, a later lesson. This is your actual blog post area. And that is something that will be covered later. Right now, we'll just leave it set up as it is. And then we're down at the bottom. So three things we're going to add here. So to get started, we're going to go over to our left-hand side here, and we are going to find the widgets area. It's down here at the bottom. And when I click on that, I have four sections to add widgets. Okay, one of them we're going to skip, and I'll tell you why at the end of this lesson, because it's not useful for a nonprofit. But we're going to go right into the R focus section. And what this is, is, and let me scroll down. Our focus section is what we call what we do, right? Or maybe um, our services, whatever you want to call this. To add a widget, right? To add one of these elements to here, we click on Add Widgets, which is with a plus sign here. And then we get a list of all these widgets, right? And widgets I'll explain in more detail again in a later lesson. But the widgets we're using, we need to scroll down, and we're going to find Xerif, which is uh, Xerif, which is the name of the theme. And we're in the R focus area. We're going to use the Xerif R focus widget. So just click on that, and that will add a widget, right? And so now you see our, our area in the uh, has cleared of content. We're about to add real content here. And I'm going to just go ahead and do this, and so you can see what it does. Uh, first, we need a title, and our title is simply going to be um, for one of the things that this is the urban art. Council, the Urban Arts Council, one of the things they do is they teach art. So they art is one of the things they do. And I need some filler text here. I'm not going to put anything in but Latin at this point, but of course you would put in a couple lines about whatever subject you're using. Um, you could put a link in here if you had another page that it linked to. At this point, we're not adding an art page of any type, so we'll leave that blank. And then, of course, you can add your image. Now, your image for this part is going to be an icon. If you recall, there was just these little circles here, and those were all icons. A big picture will look very funny in that little um, circle. So when you go to upload your image, you go ahead and you upload your files, you're going to want to find images that are, that are icons, or at least icon size. And that is square images that are 128 by 128 or 256 by 256 for this theme, for this part of the theme in particular. I've, I experimented with it. I did other ones. Here's my icons here. Um, I, I experimented and I used other types of icons. Uh, and it just um, didn't, didn't go so well. So I experimented with the right size. For me, the icons I'm using are both 256 by 256. Now I went ahead and uploaded three icons because I'm going to have three sections, but this is the art section. And this is my art icon right here. So I'm going to say insert into post. And then once you're done there, you can say apply, which is down here. After you upload the image, the apply button needs to happen. And that will actually upload it. And there is the image. 
Oops. All right. So as you can see, I made a mistake here. That icon's actually too big. And, and this is what, you know, this is real life. So we'll just go ahead and we'll make it. It was one, I think it's the 128s that I need to use. So I'm going to change these images. I'm going to upload my 128 versions of these. That's here, here, and here. I'm going to open those and insert them in there. And I think these are going to work better. I'm going to go ahead and just to save confusion, I'm going to delete these really quick. And... Uh, keep on moving. All right, so 128s. I'm going to insert that, and then I'm going to apply it. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's a much better icon. Okay, so it fits perfect in there. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more widgets, and you can go ahead and follow along. You can add more. You could add four or five of these if you want to. I think four would be the max, I would say. If you put five in there, then it's going to get kind of squished together. But there's three what we do's. Now, real quick, some of you might be wondering, like, where do I get these icons from? Or where are you going to get your icons from? And so here I'm going to pull in a, a pretty nice website. This one is called freepick.com. Freepick, P-I-K. Dot com and they have sets of icons and vector graphics that you can use for free. So go to this site. Here's the uh, free freepick.com. I'm actually in the free vector section where you can get full sets and you can see there's plenty to pick from um, that might fit exactly what you're doing. And this is where I got the icons that I'm using. So so just as a side note, then this is a good site to find those icon graphics that you're looking for. Yeah, so that looks really good. And we're going to go back to our main widget area. Under there, we are now going to go into our testimonials. So the second one down the list is testimonials. I click on that. And again, we have to add this widget. Let me scroll down in our demo site here. The testimonial area is this area here, what, what I renamed what people are saying. So I have a few of these already set up to, to put in here. And... I'm just going to go ahead. It, it works very much the same as the, uh, the what we do section here. So again, add a widget, scroll down. Here is the serif testimonial widget down here at the bottom. I'm going to click on that. And the author is the person's name. And in this case, my testimonial is coming from Jamie Addison. I'm not going to have a link, though you could have a link if they had a website. Um, and Jamie's detail is a course. Jamie is a course graduate. And Jamie's testimonial is this. And then again, I have some images of Jamie. So I'm going to go ahead and upload some images. I have some pre made images for all of my um, testimonial people. So boom, boom, here they are. And now here's a tip with this theme when you upload an image, it's best that it's square because it crops it kind of funny if it isn't square and you're not going to be assured of having the person um, centered in uh, how in the graphic on how it does this. So I've cropped this square and I put him mostly in the center. I'm going to insert him into there. I'm going to apply. So now I should have a course graduate. And let's scroll down in the testimonial area. So there he is, there's his testimonial, and he's a course graduate. So I'm gonna add two more. So again, and uh, I'll just kind of buzz through this and you can follow along. So add widget. We've added three testimonials. So I'll scroll down. And there are my three testimonials from three different people talking about the service or their experience as a volunteer or or whatever, right? So you can use that area for that. And the last widget we're going to add, so I'm going to click back to the main widget area. We're going to go into the R team section. Like I said, we're going to skip about for now. We're going to go into the R 
team section. And the our team section is right here, what we call our board, right? And again, we have to add a widget. And we scroll down, and we're going to see that we have the, um, down here is the Serif team member widget right here. Click on that, and that is the team member we're going to be adding. So my board member's name is going to be Alice Freely. She is the board president. Here is a description of her. I am going to put a link to her Twitter account. We'll just pretend I'm doing that. But if they have one, go ahead and do it. And one to their LinkedIn account. And so you can add these links into there. Of course, I'm just putting hashtags, which are fillers. But, um, but at least you'll see how it works out. And I uh, uh, might as well put a Facebook link for her too. And then I'm going to upload an image for our board president. Again, I have these pre-selected. So back in my images, my team, you know, like this. There's my board president. Now I insert her photo, and then I will apply. And as it refreshes, we'll scroll down, and you'll see our board. There is Alice, who's the board president. All right. As you scroll over, there is the filler text that I, I put in there as her description. Cool. All right, so I am going to go ahead and buzz through this again. Let's add another widget. <laughs> So now we have our content on here. So we have our Urban Arts Council with our links to uh, different parts. We scroll down. There's a What We Do section, which we just added those three um, pieces of content. Scroll down. We're coming up to our board. Here's our three board members, or four board members, sorry. Uh, well, three board members and our executive director. And here are our testimonials. And so that is what we just added. Next coming up is going to be the news and events area. Um, but as I promised, we are going to go back. I'm going to show you the About Us section. So the About Us section is the uh, section that we called our mission. This theme adds a clients area, and the clients area goes in the About Us section. So if I were to select this, I would add a link to a client. Let's say my client was a... And you could do this. Um, it's it's not a bad idea, but you'll see why I'm not using it in a second. And we'll just assume... Uh, um, that's a link to our client's website, and then you simply add an image, which would be their logo. Um, we'll just pick one of these. We'll pick this uh, housing area here, and we'll insert that into the post, and just so you get an idea what where, where this is. And then we apply it. Scroll down, and under our mission, we see something called Our Happy Clients. And then there's thumbnails of them and links to their website. The reason I don't include this is um, it'd be great if it said our sponsors or we appreciate our donors, but it says our happy clients. And there's no easy way to change this. So for our purposes, this widget isn't going to be of much use. Um, but of course, you could use that, our happy clients, and you could put pictures of people you serve. Um, for, for me, I'm not going to bother with that one. So I'm going to actually delete that. And once you're done, be sure that you always save and publish. So we are at that point where we've added all the widgets that we can. And the next thing we're going to be working on is our news and updates section, as, as well as a donation page. So go ahead and save and publish. All right, well, that's, that's it for this lesson. Then we've added the widgets. Our site is mostly done. We have a couple things we're going to be adding, which is our latest news page and our donation page. Those are a little different than what we've been doing, but the site's looking pretty good at this point, and it's, um, it's close to being done. All right, good work, folks. Until our next lesson, I will see you later.